We only have a few more weeks to take advantage of summer produce like zucchini, eggplant, and tomatoes. Brandon Fay. Oh my gosh, Brandon, I'm so sorry. You're like <laughs> one of my best friends. Managing Director of Trotteria Delarte is back with some recipes to enjoy these wonderful vegetables. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hi. It's Labor Day. I know. I know. It's hard to sneak believe. up on us. Hard to believe. So, vegetables and seafood, too. Yeah, yeah. I did a little bit of a combination. I mean, you, you said it before. It's like this is the end of the summer, but yeah. you still, you got prime season right now, still, of delicious eggplants, delicious tomatoes, some avocados. Take advantage of it. So, I made a shrimp salad, like, mm. sort of like a shrimp salsa. Mm -hmm. And then I took the vessel, like I basically made my vessel an avocado. And so we made that on a bowl. But why don't we make the shrimp salad real quick? Okay. And what I did was I made it super light, very fresh, very healthy. And what I did was I took some shrimp, I okay. quickly just blanched them, shocked them some water. So it's just chilled shrimp right there. Right, add that. And we're a little bit of garlic. How do you like your garlic? A lot, a little bit, you know. We're gonna put a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> pack some uh, pack some mouthwash. Yes. So then grab some olive oil, put that okay. in there as well. And put all of it? Yeah, go right ahead. Absolutely. Okay. What you wanna do is you wanna really like marinate and get that flavors all in there. I take some tomatoes. Now really cool with this is that's just the ends of the tomatoes. So I made a, a tomato salad before, but mm. this is when you cut the tops. Okay. Like, you're like, what do I do with this? And go to waste? I guess I just chop that up really quick. Mm -hmm. I put that in there. I'm going to add a little bit of cilantro. All right. Cilantro right over there. Thank you. These but are the wrong though. sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. That's, a, that's actually a perfect barbecuing uh, shirt. <laughs> uh, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of lime juice. You're like almost finished. No. This is great. Thank you. And then we're just going <laughs> to give it a quick toss with a spoon. Okay. So while you're making that, you get it. I would probably let that sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Just let it sort of cook its own, like almost mm -hmm. like a ceviche. Let it cook in its own flavors, the olive oil and the tomato. Really let it marinate well. This over here is a finished product of that. Mm. So it's already been marinated. I already took the avocado. I basically halved it. I took the pit out. And what I do is, another cool trick is I take a spoon and I get underneath the avocado. And so basically it's loose oh, it's now. Easy to it's take easy out. to take out later. But I'm going to leave it inside the skin. So this way, why don't you fill oh, that like, up? Oh, I was about to eat it. Yeah, you can try okay, it we'll too. Put it in there. But just oh, show you how that is, right? That is really cute. So then you can like walk around and you can have your right. shrimp sauce inside the avocado. Oh. <laughs> want to taste that? Yeah, I, I do. Nice and fresh flavors right mm. there, right? You get that lime, you get those hints of the olive oil, you get the tomatoes, you get the cilantro. I think basically that's summer in your belly mm -hmm. right now, right? Delicious. And this cool. People walk into your party or you're in the backyard, you don't have to worry about having a plate. You just have the avocado with the with the shell right there. That's so good. The skin. Yeah. What's yeah. next? <laughs> we're doing healthy and fresh, and now we're doing a little bit, maybe a uh, little evil. Not as healthy? Not as <laughs> I did <laughs> zucchini pancakes. Okay. Because you know, everyone has either like a zucchini or squash laying around. You've got so much of it at the end of the summer. So basically what I do is, I took this grater right over here. Mm -hmm. I took a zucchini. All I basically do is I shake it mm -hmm. on, grate it, right? Boom. Okay. And what you also want to do is, the, which is missing here, is you're going to take this. You can either use a cheesecloth or a rag. You want to get out that excess water. And let it sit for about 15 minutes, put some salt on. I got some flour, some Parmesan cheese, some basil. You can make it herbaceous. You can put more herbs in there if you want. It's very simple. It's a kind of really easy dish. I'm going to add the zucchini in. And actually, I got a little fun over here. I did zucchini, carrots, and squash. And then you got your dry ingredients. With that, I'm going to add a little bit of egg. Now, is egg necessity? Not so much. You don't really need the egg, but you could use it. Some people actually use some. Oddly enough, club soda. Oh. Club soda acts as a nice, uh, gets a nice and wet and binds everything together. So I'm just going to grab my glove real quick, put that mm -hmm. on, so I keep my hands nice and clean. And what I do is I put some olive oil in here. And whenever you're uh, pan sauteing with olive oil, make sure you're always careful. I wear an apron so I don't get the splash all over me. But when you put stuff into the pan, yes. you always want to take a step back and then drop it in nice and softly. Because you're letting this is heated up. This is heated up already, okay. right? I'm and moving it back. should be an optimum temperature. All I'm doing here is giving this a nice mix. Again, it's herbs flour, some parsley, you could put uh, basil, anything you want in there to get your nice and base going there. And that's it. I'm, I don't I don't pack it too tightly because mm -hmm. as you can see, if I can grab one over here for a second, I love, this is the finished product. I love having a nice and rustic. And it's like, and it's all about just really tasting that. And you need the flour and everything, the Parmesan, you got those zucchini. <laughs> if you want to try one of those. I will, I'm going to drop one of these in in a second. Go right ahead, yeah. Mmm. Right? I know. I'm gonna. I want to try one too. So <laughs> that's really <laughs> get you one of these. <laughs> and you, you can serve this with some sort of like creme fraiche, you. or maybe even like like you know you can make potato latkes. So like, how how long? I don't want to cut you yeah, off because we're running yeah. out of time. How long do you do you fry it for? It's a great question. This is a real simple, easy, quick dish. After I put this in, and this feels this like it's so hot good. enough. So I put that in just like that. See, it's already starting to. There we go. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, how long do you cook? I'm going to put that in for about one to two minutes on each side. Okay. And that's you it. Can, and that's it. You know, you could tell. You hear that? Mm -hmm. You know what it's saying? It's saying, "Don't forget about me." It's, it's saying, "Don't forget about <laughs> Vanessa, who's off <laughs> camera over here." <laughs> Hello there. This is so good, Brandon. Thank great. you so much.